Hi everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to Serpente Sunday for January 29th, 2023. I'm going to talk to you about an emergency use for these wonderful exercise tents that we use for enrichment spaces and temporary containment. Why? Because we had something happen. We had a propane tank leak in a single room and what we did was we evacuated the snakes to another room. We turned off the propane and we called our propane company and we used the exercise tents to put the snakes in. Everyone, please remember that we both work and live at the animal sanctuary, where in addition to the snakes, there are other animals, mostly mammals, who are vocal and make noise. This is the animal's home. They live here, you don't. And we are not a recording studio. If barking and other animal noises will bother you, turn off your sound now. Hey guys, this is a video of one of my corn snakes, Nehrun, and back into his enclosure. And I'll tell you why this is significant when I back up here in a minute. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. And Nehrun was out of his enclosure because we had a propane leak last night. And yet just another awesome use for these tents the three snakes that were in the room with the propane leak, I was able to remove from their enclosures, these three enclosures right here, and put them in these tents within seconds. So literally in less than a minute, I popped these tents open and I grabbed these three snakes out, which is two corn snakes and an Escalapian snake. And I put them into these tents and I was able to just throw the tents on top of these dog kennels, which are not meant to hold weight, but the, the tents are so light that it didn't matter. And we had somebody out today to fix the propane leak. And I since moved the enclosures out of that room and into this room. And I took the shelving that was here, which we were using to store supplies on and put it in the room where there could potentially be a propane leak in the future. There's no propane source in this room. So that freaked me out. But when it happened, I was able to literally within less than a minute, pop these tents up, grab the three snakes out of these enclosures and put them in these exercise tents. And this is where they spent the night and where they spent all day. Um, it's about 11 p.m. on Wednesday night and I'm just putting them back in their enclosures now. This is snake number two that had to get evacuated from his room and enclosure for the night. And this is really gonna glare, but I'm gonna turn around and show you the little tent I had him in. And I did put stuff in there. I put, I just grabbed some things from the snake's regular enclosure. And I'm gonna flip this around. So say hello to Rassilon, and then I'm gonna flip the video camera around. Okay, so I flipped it around. Anyway, what I did is first I popped the tents up super fast and then I grabbed the snakes out and I stuck them in the tents and then I grabbed a few things from the snakes regular enclosures like their hide and water dish and I put them in the tents um, with some packing paper like crumpled up and some empty cardboard boxes so they weren't just in empty tents. And then now we've moved the cages into this other room and I'm taking this opportunity to clean the cages and then, you know, put the snakes back in. So that's Rassilon, he's the other corn snake. Okay, last but not least is Elnor, our Escalapian snake. I had him in this big tent along with his hide and some things from his enclosure. And yeah, they're kind of dirty and quick. Uh, and I guess attracted to glasses, just like the rest of the snakes. So he is gonna be very happy <laughs> to go back into his enclosure and hopefully he won't be too impacted by the fact that it's in a different room. At least they will not be smelling gas. All right. Beautiful snakes, but real kind of darty and flighty which is why I had him grouped here with the corn snakes. Okay. 
So here they all are now in their stack, and there is now a fourth snake that they're sharing this stack with, and that is Marcel, our children's python. He was always in this spot. He just shared a shelving unit with paper towels and other cleaning supplies and things that we had stored here. And so we just swapped all of those supplies with these three black enclosures, and now we don't have to worry about um, them inhaling propane if it leaks again. That was really scary. And now Marcel finds himself on the top stack with two coral snakes and an Escalapian snake. So here's what those tents look like folded up. And actually two of them I think are folded up the way they're supposed to be. I actually got one stuffed into that circle. This one I didn't have luck stuffing into the circle. I sort of got it folded up back into an oval and then I just jury rigged the bag to kind of contain it. But I'll tell you another emergency item to keep handy are these plug-in heat mats because I was able to grab one of these for each tent and stick it underneath the tent. And what you're not supposed to do is have this between two solid surfaces, but because I had those tents on top of these dog kennels that are obviously grates, um, I just set these on the dog kennel and set the tent on top of it and each of the snakes had a warm spot. So those come in really handy for emergencies as well. These are the storage shelves that I swapped the snakes with. So the snakes were in this cubby hole against that wall and I just moved them into the other room and these storage shelves with all this stuff stored on it were where the snakes are now. So I just swapped them. And this is our laundry room. And um, I guess our furnace is in there. And the hot water heater is behind this wall and that is what got a leak. And we usually kept the door shut and I opened it up after I fed horses last night and I almost keeled over. So I like just immediately knew I had to get the snakes out of this room. So I got them out, shut the door, we shut down the hot water heater, and then we got somebody out today to fix it. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and for spending time with me again this Sunday. Always remember to be kind and love your animals. And if you discover a propane gas leak, turn off the main gas supply, alert everyone to the situation, evacuate the area, and either call 911 or your propane supplier for emergency help.